Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Saponaficio Varasino, and this is Kubebe, I think it's pronounced. Quite frankly, I have no idea how this is pronounced. Uh, all I will tell you though, that this is the, uh, the Beta 4.3 formula. I've used the 4.2, I've used the 4.3, and this is never 4.3. For anyone that doesn't know who Saponaficio Varasino are, they are an Italian I'm not to say artisan because they mat they do mass produce soap. This is a vegetal soap, um, as opposed to you know, the vegan or towel or whatever. It's vegetal, so it's pretty cool. A lot of Italian soaps I've noticed are vegetal as opposed to vegan, and I think that's kind of a traditional thing. The scent on Kubebe, I've, I've had this puck blooming because that's what they recommend. Quite frankly. I think they do it so the scent radiates a bit more, quite honestly. I, I, I'm struggling to describe the scent in my head. Um, I will tell you that it's very masculine and very, it's, it, it's not too mature, if that makes sense. So I think someone in their twenties could wear this and get away from it, get away with it. Something I've noticed about Saponaficio Varasino is Pretty much all of their scents from, from what I've smelt thus far are cologne type scents. And this definitely doesn't deviate from that. So we're, we're gonna be using that today. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, I do love their stuff. Their stuff is very cool. Um, as a brush, we're gonna be using my Laguna brush by Leonidum, which is also made in Italy. So I'm gonna get lathering with that. My razor of choice today is gonna be my Wade and the Butcher for barber's use. Uh, this is a Sheffield only razor. So this was supposed to stay in Sheffield and that was kind of the point of the razor. This is an A8 uh, full hollow razor. And yeah, let's uh, get loading here and uh, get shed. So blooming this soap definitely does kind of, I guess make the surface layer much easier to access but there is that which does help but it's, it's i mean quite frankly it's, it's really really not necessary so if you don't want to blend your soaps don't i i i can load it regardless like it doesn't make much of a difference to me just get a decent load here though it's got a big knot this is a beautiful scent like always, I put these scent notes in the description below. Just keep going here. That should be sufficient. If it's not, then I fucked up somewhere. So, okay. Let's get the uh, face hydrated and we'll get to shaven. Or at least, at least lathering. You've still got an hour. So. And by hour, I mean that's how long it takes me to lather. It doesn't take me to lather this stuff too long because it's pretty easy to work with. I'm quite tired. Um, and my arms are in pain. Aside from that, I'm not bad. I want to train jiu-jitsu, but the uh, the gym I want to join here, the jiu-jitsu school I want to join, isn't yet accepting new students, which is a pain. But it is what it is. I have plenty of time to train. So I've been focusing on weightlifting and running. I'm tired because I did uh, my first proper road run today. And my arms are hurting because I uh, had shoulders and triceps yesterday, so <laughs> it sucks just lifting my arm up. To be quite, to be quite honest with you, but we're gonna get the shaven because I really want to. So, Kubebe, this is a 
So the hand, the, the brush here, I'll be honest with you, Lee and I set a bit, bit too high for me. I do like a bit of background, as you guys probably know, but we, we make this work. Oh, listen. It's very, very, very nice, very nice. Okay, a bit of water here. From the nerdy squirt bottle. Is this my birthday on the 10th? I'm heading down to San Diego, mainly because I love California. But a good part of California is uh, the chief is down there, so I'm going to be visiting him. We're going to eat some good food, drink some good beer. It's funny because California is no longer a getaway from the weather to me <laughs> because that's, that's kind of what it was when I was living in Albuquerque because the weather was just so fucking out awful for me. The weather here is right up my alley, by the way. I went for a run this morning and it was 62 degrees with a decent amount of humidity, nothing overwhelming. So, you know, that that's kind of what I want. I don't want something that's incredibly cold in the summer or to be honest incredibly hot in the summer i just want to be comfortable year round and uh i can handle the cold quite frankly i'm from england i'm used to colder weather so colder winters don't bother me too much But I, I'm not a big fan of hot summers. They they do bother me quite a lot, so. Happy to get away from those. I would say though, like the first couple of days I was here, it was like a hundred degrees, but I was told by the kind of like locals that that's a bit of an anomaly, like that just doesn't happen very often. In Albuquerque in the summer, that's every day. So th there's the difference there, you know? The soap seems easy to lather. To be to be completely honest, I way overloaded, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we generally do. It's still quite dry, despite its appearance. So all I'm going to do here is uh, wash off my hands, get the uh, nerdy squirt bottle. We're just going to paint some water in and just get going because we don't need a big lather with a straight razor. We need a hydrated lather. Still needs more water. Beautiful soap. It really, really is. This isn't the cheapest soap. They're about $40 a puck. They are for 5.3 triple milled ounces. So although it's expensive, it's going to last you longer than pretty much any artisan soap. And quite frankly, it's as good as most of the artisan soaps. I can't really see the same for a lot of the mass produced shit, but the fun of feature of Barocino definitely is. And that's that's kind of a big reason why I bought some more after the time of Suta, you know. Which will be coming back. Probably not next week, but the week after. Fantastic. Stuff built really nicely actually. Get a bit more water on here. I'm just gonna keep. We're all over time. We're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stop it. Anyway. Time just gets away from me when I'm doing this. Cool. Very easy to work with. 
this this up base. So I had this Wade and Butcher honed by Max. It just didn't feel very sharp anymore, is the way I would put it. Um, and that is kind of annoying to me. See, so yeah, I got it home. Okay. Let's get this open here. Don't, you know, just chop my finger on it or anything. Let's get to shaving. All of Max fresh edges, really sharp. Comfortable, but really sharp. Let me just play a bit more. It's got loads of lather on my nose. <laughs> cool. Very easy. Other side. I find it's a bit more finicky when there's uh, still soap on the blades, kind of pressing the soap everywhere. See what I mean? But, uh, it's actually pretty damn dense lather, to be honest. Cool, pretty happy with that first pass. A bit. Oh man, the scent is beautiful. It's probably around a six, maybe a seven in scent strength. It's very present, but not in your face, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Some more water. Lather with a tad dry on that first pass. Too bothered if I really oversaturate it with these passes because I'm not really looking for structure, I'm looking for hydration. It's less important, if you know what I mean.
Cool, let's get a cross grain here. Very easy. I'm pretty happy with that side to be honest, you don't really need to do much more there. It's kind of why I do a cleanup pass, just because if I do miss something I can go back over it and get, get kind of what, what I want to get. Really well hydrated. Get that out of the way. I, I always find the shape tricky to hold because I'm so used to the Spreco razors. It's kind of strange for me. <laughs> cool. So they're up again really quick for cleanup pass and uh Finish up. <laughs> I got myself pretty good there. I kind of felt it go dink, and uh, yeah, I got myself. It doesn't matter too much, fine, whatever. Very nice. We're going to leave that cut alone. So we're not going to do anything there. Fantastic. 
Cool, okay. I think we're good here. Let's put that aside. Let's get the cold water going. Put all this lather here. Oh, I must just threw my brush on the floor. Get this on the face. We'll clean up the gear. I'm not gonna kind of transition away. We'll just kind of chat through that. But yeah, that was a good shave. I got myself there, but it's really not that bad. Not my fastest shave, but that's a, that was a pretty sharp edge. I needed to be quite careful. Got the shave done. In decent time, it's only 21 minutes in. And I lather longer than most, so. There certainly is that to think about. Okay, let's clean off this stuff a bit. I, I get annoyed when uh, there's loads of soap residue on the top. I know, quite frankly, it just doesn't matter, but uh, it irritates me. <laughs> A little bit, I have to say. Cool. Okay, go Let's uh, clean the razor here. So all I do, is shut that up, obnoxious noise. Just get it like this. And then I pretty much just strop it on the linen a few times, just to get the blade edge dry. I don't close it. All the way, so it will just it will dry kind of, kind of like this. So let's just put that there for now. Let's wash the face and uh, get get to the post. Sharp blades, close shave. After a few shaves, that hone will get really smooth. And because it's so sharp, they last a very long time, like Spreco's hones. Any sharper there, that would have been quite uncomfortable for me, but I'm kind of used to the way he does edges. The post shave on this really isn't too bad, I have to say. Okay, we're gonna use the matching splash today. Their splash is actually pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, it is an alcohol based splash. So I'm gonna kind of get this here, give it a mix. Let's just embrace the burn, shall we? Three, two, one. It's really not a burn. Oh man, what a scent, <laughs> what a scent. Awesome, awesome scent. Super unique consistency. With, I, I don't know what that is. 4.2 ounces, dude. That's a unique consistency. It's almost, it's thicker than a liquid, if you know what I mean. Pretty interesting. Okay, let me uh, show you what I used today and I'll let you guys go. So I used the Kubebe by Saponificio Vadasino. Uh, 4.3 base, really good. Um, my first pass was pretty dry. My second pass was better. Got, caught myself here a wee bit, but it's really not that bad. I'll give it a little on there. I'll uh, do with that in a minute. It's so small, it's, it's like such a small cut, but you know what face cuts are like. But yeah, it's a good shave. I'm pretty happy with the outcome of that. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Oh, I need to show you the rest of the gear. Sorry, my head's all over the place. I used the Wade & Butcher um, AH for barber's use. I really like this razor. Max put a new edge on it for me, like I said. Um, very sharp. It will last a long time. And then my Laguna brush by Leonidum, which is badass. Look at the bloom on that. Stunning.
but yeah, that's the shave today, guys. And uh, this, which you just saw me use. Very unique consistency, actually. Finally, that is the shave today, guys. Uh, took me a while to get there. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here, haven't yet subscribed, please can do this. Please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Whether you're on the rock, have a wonderful day.